नमस्ते टू एवरीबॉडी इट वाज वेरी इंस्पायरिंग टू सी एंड हियर इन वेरियस लैंग्वेजेस इन वेरियस फॉर्म्स the human expression of his her devotion to the lord to ishwara <coughs> i don't know why some people are so committed to destroy these forms i don't know it's a violence against traditions against cultures against people against the core beings of the humanity when you are born your parentage is given the place of birth is given time of birth is given the body is given male female the environment is given the scheme of things the galaxies systems forces laws contemporary people life forms all are given there is nothing that i as an individual can really create something new that if i can make something well the possibility is given every software is a possibility every hardware is a possibility it's given and what is given has got to be has got to be protected nourished not distorted and that is nourishing i say my body doesn't belong to me there is a sanskrit drama in which once body becomes an object of dispute devadatta has his body he claims this is my body then mother has a claim i brought this body into this world i brought this body up his body belongs to me the father gets into the box and claims 50 50 so i have i have my own contribution to this body and therefore i should have 50% of the body then the fellow is married and his wife gets into the box i am the better half of this fellow if not better at least the other half i have got i have got a claim over this body the children represented by attorneys well so the attorneys so claim claim that the body belongs to these children until at least they grow up the state can get into the box the employer can get into the box all the bacteria can get into the box the potatoes can get into the box all these cows and goats and unknown animals also can get into the box claiming this body as as their own their own their own body their own possession their own their own uh, what you call the 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 person because 
the claimants have equal right and therefore the judge in the case got confused and he decided nobody has a claim over this body including mr devadatta and therefore he said i am going to appoint a managing trustee and the managing trustee must be able to know hunger when there is hunger thirst when there is thirst in this body if there is a back pain he should know the managing trustee should know if there is a headache the person should know and therefore all the bacteria became silent all other people also became silent nobody came forward neither mr devadatta came forward <laughs> he thought that if all these people have a claim over this body i don't care this is not my body well the judge said nobody has a claim no doubt neither mr devadatta has a claim when all others have a claim but devadatta occupies in the scheme of things a significant position place from where devadatta is capable of knowing hunger thirst any pain occurring in this body and therefore it is given in the scheme of things this trusteeship of mr devadatta trusteeship for this physical body and he has the significant position and therefore i am appointing mr devadatta as the managing trustee of this body the extension of this story is every one of us is a managing trustee of what is given the indigenous cultures indigenous languages indigenous forms religious traditions are given they are not created in history they are given and they need to be protected we are all managing trustees understand we are managing trustees of these colorful cultures and which really enrich the human heritage and in india we have that kind of freedom to protect and even the intruders we allowed them to protect in fact india has got a culture and in which the majority of the people are hindus but then they are they feel they are persecuted by certain other intruding traditions the only country in the world so the majority would feel persecuted in as much as the majority seem to have a genius a culture to accommodate it has it has that openness to accommodate and all the indigenous cultures had that openness and they were so open <laughs> now we have to find out we have to find out where they are they are so open <laughs> and we have to find out where they are and we can meet them only in conferences like this <laughs> very unfortunate we have allowed ourselves to be to be wiped out and we are allowing ourselves to be wiped out without being violent we can raise our voice in all conferences in all situations that we have a right to be what we are the sun is sun moon is moon moon doesn't want to become the sun much less the sun wants to become the moon better they are as they are better we are as we are 
We don't require to change you. You need not require to change us. May we enjoy and nourish, enjoy what we have and nourish each other. The, the balance, I don't know what is the meaning of this balance here, but nourish each other what we have. Devan bhavayatanena te devaha bhavayantuvaha Parasparam bhavayantaha shreyaf paramavapsyata It is given. And therefore you do what is to be done. You are in a position where you need to contribute what is to be done. Be a contributor. What is to be done is your contributor. At any given place and time, the script becomes very evident. This is what I have to do. Do what is to be done and acknowledge all the forces, all the devas. Let the devas do what they have to do. You do what you have to do. You have, you have shreyas only. That is the way to live in harmony with the setup, with the scheme of things. We will say with Ishwara. All that is here is Ishwara, God. We don't say, we don't give a location for God. <laughs> so God is somewhere there. So we say all that is here is Ishwara. And therefore, so when you nourish your culture, your religion, your people, the forces, you nourish yourself in the process, and you also make sure that 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 particular environment is not in any way disturbed by your being here and make people also understand that what this nourishing is. Thank you very much. Om Tatsar. We have been blessed with the divine words in the divine ambience sitting beneath the divine souls. Dear brothers and sisters, we are lucky enough and it's our privilege that today we have with us Shraddhe Dr. Pranav Pandyaji, Rever Chancellor of the Main Making University, Dev Sanskriti Vishwavidyalay, Head All World Gayatri Parivar, Propeller of Scientific Spirituality, Religion of 21st Century, Simplifying Spirituality for the Humanity through his life and his writings, Mentor for Youth of the World. On behalf of the House, I would like to take the pleasure to request Shraddhe to kindly bless us with enlightened words. Shraddhe. Respected Swamiji, Dhyanan Saraswati Ji, all the elders of the various cultures, various followings, all the dignitaries who are present on the dais, the ICCS officials, the IHC officials, my dear brothers and sisters, let me say, my dear relatives, Today, we saw a very good combination of varieties of the prayers, varieties of the culture, varieties of the representation from the various walks of life of the whole universe. Our Indian culture says that this culture was throughout the globe, Sa Prathama Sanskriti Vishwara. This was the universe, universal culture. And everybody used to nourish this culture. Everybody used to nurture the culture. Nurturing the culture means the nurturing the ecosystem surrounding you, nurturing the traditions, nurturing the animal beings, nurturing the plants, nurturing the humankind. All of us have seen a lot of bloodshed in last so many years, violence in the name of religion, in the name of caste, in the name of creed, in the name of sect, in the name of gender. This particular Congress, which has taken place in my university, 
I believe that this will bring all of us together. Not only all of us, but the traditions which are being followed by all of you. It will communicate a message to each and every one that the global unity has to be at the cultural level. If at the cultural level we all are united, then there can no, never be any crisis of faith anywhere in the world. We are in the 21st century, second decade. And this particular century has seen right at the onset of the 21st century, that is 2001, 2002, we have seen a lot of bloodshed. It has happened in USA, it has happened in India, and a lot of terrorism is happening everywhere. The prayers of peace are needed more and more. Peace to the, each and every person who is on this earth. Pray, prayers for the peace to each and every being, be the animals. Prayers to each and peer, prayers for the happiness to each and every one through the proper management of the resources. Through the non-warm climate, through the climate which is very friendly to each and every one, and this can happen only through the nourishing the nature. We have to nourish the nature, we have to nourish the traditions, we have to nourish the various qualities of the species which we have all over the world. The Indian culture is very specific in saying that whatever is original has to be maintained as original, as Swamiji said. Religion word comes from A-R-E-L and G-I-O-N, Rel Gyaon. It's a Latin word. And this word comes from bringing the originality back. This is what is the meaning of religion. Bringing the originality back. Then where is the need for changing anything? So this, is part this particular Congress will s deliver a message that we need each and every one on this, on this earth. You see this bouquet. We need the flowers. We need the plants. We need the leaves. We need the roots. We need the seedlings. Each and every, everybody needs all these things. Similarly, today we have witnessed the bouquet of various sects, various prayers, various concepts of various countries. India is a small bouquet of the unity and in diversity. India has got so many faiths, right from Arunachal, which you have seen already, the prayer has come from Arunachal, to the south, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, each and every part, Gujarat, go to each, Odisha, go to Kolkata, go to Bangla, Bengal. The, each part of the country is full of varieties of the culture. They say that every 10 or 12 miles the culture changes, the language changes in India. So there are so many traditions, so many things. But we saw today, we witnessed today, the varieties of the culture all over. Uh, for me, uh, this is a new experience. I had traveled all over the world, tra traveled all over the globe, attended many conferences. But this conference has been unique because I saw for the first time all cultures present on this stage at one stage in Dev Sanskriti Vishwadhyalaya. I congratulate the organizers of ICCS and ISC for choosing the venue of this uh, Dev Sanskriti Vishwadhyalaya, inviting all of us and all, all the participants. I hope in next four days uh, you will definitely find more and more closeness to the cultural philosophies and uh, many things which are uh, supposed to be very distant because of the di distance due to language. I may not be able to understand your language, but there is one language which everybody understands, that is love and affection. Love and affection. And if we have that language to the deepest core of our heart, Lord Krishna says in Gita, Shraddha is the main key. So he says, Shraddhavan labhate jnanam tatpara sanyatendriya. Only one who is full of love and devotion to the God can achieve knowledge. And that knowledge will make him full of peace eternal peace. If we believe in that, that particular thing, then definitely in future, the mankind is going towards the right path, the brighter path. 
21st century, as my guru has said, is bringing bright future to everyone. I see the second decade is bringing a lot of possibilities of changes all over the globe. This particular year is very special. This particular year is for worshipping of the sun all over the country and all over the world we have started the sun worship through the Surya Gayatri, through the sun Aditya Bhaskaraya Vidmahe, Aditya Divakaraya Dhimahi, Tannaha Surya Prachodhyat and Om Grini Surya Nama. Why do we worship sun? Because without sun we cannot exist, we cannot live. And that's why you see the representative from Japan, representative from Vietnam, representative from the Mayans, representative from the Red Indians, all of them natives, they all of them are combining their prayer with the sun, prayer up to the sun, sun god. And prayer to the sun god is in very unique form, that is Gayatri Mantra. We pray to the Gaya sun god that we meditate on you so that you give us righteous knowledge. Righteous knowledge is the key to the nourishing of the whole universe. And nourishing, as Swamiji said, I am also concerned about the topic, nourishing the balance of the nature. You see, nourishing the nature itself is the balance of the nature. Nourishing the nature, nurturing the nature, giving water to the plant, giving manure to the plant. The plant of this whole world, plant is a whole world. Ashvatham parahuram avyayam. Lord Krishna says in Gita that I am just like a, a tree of the Ashwat and just up, lying upside, upright down. This particular concept of the cultural perspective has to be understood by all of us. I welcome all of you. I uh, respect uh, all the traditions and uh, on behalf of the whole Gayatri Parivar, which numbers about more than 90 million people all over the globe, we invite you to be a part of part of us you are a part of family and from today onwards we'll consider you as a family members thank you very much for coming with us thank you very much sir certainly it uh First of all, I would like to thank sir for guiding us what a culture and a religion is actually is. And once uh, Dr. Saab has uh, said in his lecture that culture actually